<laughs> All right. <laughs> Doyle Dykes, welcome. Welcome to Music Villa. Thank you for being here. Great intro. I, uh, that's the best intro I've ever had right there. Uh, <laughs> we're here at Music Villa, Bozeman, Montana, and uh, we've got a couple of events going on this weekend, and you're in town uh, playing yeah. a show, and you stop by, and we've got our, all the guild reps here. Uh -huh. We're actually uh, joined by Ren Ferguson as well, and yeah. which leads me right into this guitar. Let's talk about this. This is a uh, Doyle Dykes uh, guild signature model. And, uh, yeah. It's, uh, I know we were talking earlier, and it looks sounds like Rin was involved in uh, helping to get this built for you. A little bit. Yeah, a little, a little bit. bit. Just a little like bit. 100%. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Rin and, you know, Rin and Guild, I mean, there's a lot of story, uh, history with Guild, and um, we just started selling them again this, in the last two years, and mm -hmm. it's just been... It's been great for us. We love the love the whole line, mm -hmm. and uh, you know this one. I know you know Rin helped in the transition, getting Guild, mm -hmm. you know where they're at now and all that in Absolutely. the last couple of years. And tell us about your your guitar. Well, yeah, and Rin did that too a number of years ago, back uh, when we were uh, working in uh, back east. Uh, the factory was there, and they've, they've since moved it to uh, California. Uh -huh. And so uh, they brought Ren and I on at the same time, actually. And of course, I have a, a, a history with Guild going back to my childhood days. Uh -huh. and I played a Starfire, nice, you know, oh. and I, I love that. And then I used to play on the Grand Ole Opry with Grandpa Jones, and I had a, a double cutaway Starfire guitar, you oh, know. That's so cool. I always, I always loved the brand. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and they asked if I would help and uh, get involved with it. I said, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, it's like going home. Yeah. And uh, I'll, I'll never forget the first time we had a meeting about this guitar and I, I, I was on a plane, I'd written all these things down. I said, well, I want this, I want this, you know, and basically uh, inch and three quarter neck, yeah. you know, and then I want an ebony uh, fingerboard and, and, and then a bridge. And I said, I like the shape of the F47 gill, but mm -hmm. let's make it a little thinner. Because when you're doing a, you know, all, yeah. all that's got to be quick, quick right. to respond. You feel all that on your right hand. Yeah. So it's a finger picker's dream. Gotcha. I mean, it really is. And so, uh, of course, with the Adirondack top, Adirondack bracing, uh, and then uh, um, and a, maple a lot of, yeah, yeah maple, maple yeah. of course, look Beautiful. at that. Beautiful, yeah. Uh, this probably came out of Rand's private stash. It looks like it. It's happy birthday. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. <laughs> Every time I, I see it. It says Rand on the back there. Yeah, this like is Rand. This nice. is Rand. Yeah, this is the prototype. And with the red spruce, as they called it back then, well, you know, of course, we call it Adirondack and then with the bracing. And this has a picture of my dad. In oh, it, in wow. <laughs> this Father's cool. Day weekend. Yeah. Uh, but the way they make their necks, uh, you know, it, it's more rigid, brings yeah. more energy out of the top. So the guitar was right. I right. mean, I knew it would be. But with those little changes, it made it really, really nice for finger yeah, that's, style. That's beautiful. Do you think there will be a production model maybe in the future <clears throat> then of this? Of well, some, is that in the works? I think that's okay. in the works, yes. Well, well, it's great to have you with involved with Guild. It's uh, it's it's just great. It's great having you in town. It's been fun hanging out with you. Uh, let's uh, let's talk about some other models too. Yeah. And we'll tell us about you. What are you what are you up to? Is there are you you're on tour I'm imagining all the time. Uh, yeah. Uh, tell I us. work all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it's kind of like uh, we were talking earlier, Ren and I, and, and Paul McCartney asked Willie Nelson, when are you going to retire? He said, from what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll never yeah. retire from being no. uh, Doyle Dykes, and yeah. Ren Ferguson will never retire from being Ren Ferguson. Totally. I mean, we are who we are. Yeah. And, uh, of course, we were in, involved in some great guitars in the past, you know, but uh, but it's, it's kind of made us who we are. And so, uh, yeah. I enjoy being Doyle. I, you know, I, I, I it's kind of like uh, Les Paul. He's, he was in his 90s still playing. I'd go to the Ridium yeah. Club. Come up here, Doyle, you yeah. know. And, and I just love being around him. And I'm thinking, gosh, yeah. he really enjoys being Les Paul. Yeah. I want to enjoy being myself yeah. and, uh, you know, how God has made me to be, yeah. you know. That's so right. I yeah. don't know that I'll ever uh, re retire. I might get a retread. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> Are you uh, mostly in Nashville then? Uh, I live about two and a half hours south of okay. there. Um, I mean, I did a TV show there last week, uh, and then I also play on the Grand Ole Opry still. Yep. You know, I, I'm that's a great. frequent guest on yeah. there, so that's, that's all good. That's wonderful. So. Thank you for talking about this guitar. Uh -huh. While we're talking about Guild, let's 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 just go over a couple more. I mean, we have you here in mm -hmm. town, and we need to <laughs> we need to show off some of these other guilds. Yeah. 
Now this one, uh, just uh, the only change I ever make on a on a twelve strings guitar is, I, is and, and Nate did this for me here yeah. is I just changed mm. the bass strings around. I got gotcha. you. So I put the bass in. So. You got to do the Beatles. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Sounds great. Yeah. What can I, say? I love it. What a what a great guitar, and you just you make it so uh, effortless. There, it's, it's it's wonderful. Well, you know, and, you know, and the twelve string, you get. This intricate that you would do with harmonics, they're all already in a C. people like they just they pick up a 12 string and they just they're not sure they can do it they're not sure what to do and just those three things you did right there is just like yeah it opens up a whole new window for 12 string so don't be afraid of a 12 string people no. and this one you know the five the 512 I mean this model classic guild right mm -hmm. from the 60s I mean you know and then all speaking of Ren you know they I know he was a part of mm -hmm. making the backs on these and, and involved mm -hmm. in you know the machinery to to create these new guilds and these are I mean, they're classics. They're, they're lightweight. Maple, yeah, they're just... Yeah, they're, they're not a tank. You yeah. Know, they're, and they're very, very comfortable. I love them. They're, they're, they're just great. They're wonderful. You know, we... Well, hello, I'm Johnny Look at this. Cash. Look at that. The song that got the Johnny Cash out of prison. Remember that one? <laughs> the song that Johnny got Johnny yeah. Cash out of prison. Here it is. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, folks. That's an old joke. The old jokes are best as a... <laughs> <laughs> James Taylor would say so. So D55, another classic guild model in black. And uh, from what I've heard, there's only two of these. And they brought it for our event this weekend. And uh, wow. I love it in black. And I think yeah. they, I think it looks really it's beautiful. Really, really beautiful. But it's the classic D55. Um, they're just, you know, they're big. I mean, yeah. did you have a D55 like before? Back, I mean, I always went more for the jumbos and, and the, the cutaway, and this and like that, yeah. size and then the F30. But um, no, you know, yeah. I, after playing them, especially here at your store, yeah, I was I was just blown away. I was in Holland oh, about a year and a half ago, and and they had one that they just came out with the you know the USA models. Is those were one of the first that they had had over the, in Europe anyway, uh -huh. and I just grabbed it and I went, yeah, and it had that. Travis kind of bark yeah. sounded. Yeah, I said, like, "Oh yeah. my gosh, they nailed that guitar!" Yeah. And so I started sending texts and emails. And, you know, and said, yeah. "Oh, you know, guys, you guys are doing a great job." It, but it uh, is, yeah, wonderful. I think I'm gonna have to get a, a dread yeah. now. I love the. I mean, it's just a classic, and um, it's just everything about it. The inlays and the feel of the neck, and it's just got so much uh, boom to it. And uh, yeah, we're thrilled. We're we're loving the line, and. Uh, what else? Well, maybe we'll uh, just let you take us out with a with a tune. Oh yeah, that sounds good. And I uh, can't thank you enough for being here. It's been great. How about an old hymn or something? Yeah. <laughs>
That was great. Doyle, thanks. Great Thank having you. you here. Pleasure. Thanks for everything. Guild Thank Guitars, Doyle Dykes. Yeah, thanks for watching, everyone.